Matrella and Misha here. You guys, I am on a mission to live my best life here in the motherland, specifically in Egypt, and I invite you guys to take that journey along with me. So, guys, I had a live set up for today, and I actually went live, and then I just had all kind of issues. <laughs> Even just starting out, when I got up there, I went 20 minutes in advance. I was upstairs on the roof, you know, trying to show you guys some of the beautiful sunshine. Had a little mountain view. That ain't work out because um, the data just started acting crazy. I went and got my data updated yesterday. And the young lady that took care of me, I don't think she knew what she was doing, y'all. I just don't because it has not been right since. I've never had latency issues and... Um, you know, when I was there and she was trying to get it all set up, she was asking for my phone. And I'm like, I don't need the data on my phone. I have data on this. It's on a hotspot. And um, she didn't get it. <laughs> she didn't understand what was going on. So first she put data on the phone, which I don't have. And then she tried to move it. I don't know. All I know is prior to yesterday, my internet was fine. I've never had any issues with it. And then she touched it and now it's, it's crap. So... Yeah, I need to go get that taken care of. Um, anywho, I didn't want to not put a video out today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the live over, but not be alive. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to kind of just talk about what I talked about in the live today. Okay, so hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, so sorry. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, so uh, the live was to talk about... Uh, my resident visa status. I just want to give you guys an update. Um, if you've watched my other video, wait, if you watched my other video, um, you would know that I went to go get my residence visa renewed and I didn't have any luck. They, um, it was my fault. Uh, it had expired and um, I had to go through hoops and do a whole lot to get it um, renewed. Um, the biggest thing that I want to say about that though is you guys, you don't have a 14 day grace period here anymore on those residence visas. If it says it expires on February 25th or January 15th, it expired on January 15th. You don't get the two weeks anymore. So you have to get it renewed on time. If you don't, you are going to be taxed. Okay, so basically the fee already went up. So it's like 1750 to get the visa renewed. I had to pay it twice. That they charged me, so I paid twice as much to get my visa renewed than I would have paid had I got my butt down there on time. And what, what happened was, <laughs> um, you know, my visa, my passport expired in September, and my visa expired with it because they couldn't, you know, make the visa longer than the passport, of course. So that, that makes sense to me, so I get that. So I go to the States, I'm enjoying myself, I have a great time. I come back here, I'm happy to be home, I'm living my life, and you know, just vibing with things. I had decided to focus on really trying to get my channel going, and y'all, time just got away from me, I forgot. I, I completely forgot that I was not a resident of Egypt. <laughs> I forgot that I was here on a visa. That's dumb, that's, that's dumb. Yeah. But it happened, I did it, and I've learned from it. So um, even though that's something negative that happened to me this month, I'm gonna take it as a life lesson and make sure that um, next time I'm not late. So I already have the date for renewal of this one programmed into my phone on three different calendars, so I will not miss it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just don't, I can't believe I had to pay that money though, but it is what it is. That's what, that's what you do when you make a mistake, right? So I wanna talk about that. And then also kind of talk about my monetization status here on YouTube. So you guys, I've, I've had my channel now a little over a year in terms of, um, well, I guess it's more than over a year, a little over a year, however long I've been in Egypt. Um, and I did that two months in Ghana. So yeah, so it's been almost two years and I finally got over the thousand subscriber mark. So thank you, thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you. <laughs> So I'm over a thousand subscribers and I went over the 4,000 watch hours. So yeah, I qualified, right? So YouTube sends me an email and they say, you know, to um, invite me to apply for what they call their partner program. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm ready. So I was excited about that for this month. So that's one of the good things that happened this month, right? So I got the invitation to um, get monetized and I just clicked 
clicked it, sent it, boom, thought nothing of it. Three days later, I get an email back from YouTube and they're like, uh, no, it's a no. And I, I, I kind of, it kind of took me off guard. I was like, what, I, what, what I do? You know, there was like, my channel wasn't in compliance. Let me see what exactly it says. Let me tell y'all what they said to me that my channel did not, it says monetization not approved. Um, your channel was not approved for monetization and then it has learned more. So I click on learn more and it says that I was not complying with the monetization policies, right? And I'm thinking, what I do, right? So <laughs> I, I have, uh, you know, over a thousand followers. I have almost 5,000 watch hours. I did the two-step verification piece and I don't have any active community guidelines strikes, right? So I don't have any strikes. Oh, I have all four green check boxes. Boom. I'm like, okay, so I qualify. Y'all gonna think it's so dumb. what I did was so dumb. Okay, so I'm scrolling through and I was like, I couldn't figure it out. So I went to a mentor of mine and had them take a look and they told me immediately what it was. So back in 2018, when I was in Ghana, and for anybody that's a new YouTuber or anyone that's close to monetization, listen closely. I was in Ghana recording a video at a resort. Chris Brown was playing in the background, right? Okay, so apparently I got a, a copyright violation on that. And I was like, okay, because I think I remembered that, right? I was like, oh yeah, I do remember reading that. But when I read it, it said, you know, that you can continue to play the video, that um, there was no real big, it's not a big deal, it wasn't a strike or anything, um, but that that particular video couldn't be monetized. And I'm like, Psh, okay, back then. But I forgot about it now, right? And then I had another one where I had took a sample um, off of uh, one of Ice Cube's <laughs> records. I think it was, in, I don't know if it was Boys in the Hood or, well, it, was, it was one of the movies in, in, where they said, he, he said, here's what they think about you, right? Here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you, right? So I used that little sample in one of my videos and I, I, I quoted it and everything in there. Uh, so I got copyright violation on that. Okay, that's two. So then it was another video that he found where I was on the road with Mahmood and Venus. We were headed to her gata in the car, you know, dancing, doing all, <laughs> doing all that. And one of the songs on the video had a copyright violation. So I had three copyright violations that they allowed the videos to continue to play. They said those videos couldn't be monetized, but dumb me, I didn't even put together that I didn't even think about them, to be honest. To be honest, because I have over 130 videos, so those was like a long time ago, so I wasn't thinking about going back to check. So, lesson learned is just make sure your videos are clean before you apply for monetization, because something like that can make them say no. So yeah, so YouTube has said no, that my channel can't be monetized, but they did invite me to try again next month so in february i have the date all scheduled and everything um, i've already gone through and scrubbed all my videos i cleaned those videos up because you can delete the videos and the, and the reason why i didn't want to delete my videos is because one video had the um highest amount of views <laughs> just i don't want to delete that i want to keep that view count right and so i didn't delete any of the videos but i did go back and they have a tool in youtube where you can change the song so on one of the videos, the video that we were going to her God of dancing, I changed the song and, and, and it worked out because I picked the song that was comparable to the song that we were dancing to. So I don't look crazy dancing to a whole different beat. It's, it's the same beat. Um, the one where I did the sample, here's what they think about your part. I just took that out because it was so short and quick. I just, it'll be blank. And then on the video where Chris Brown was playing in Ghana, um, I stripped that out and replaced it with a different song as well. So. Yeah, so you can still have your videos look the way that you want them to and maintain that type of integrity, but um, without violating the copyright laws. So another lesson learned. So I learned two lessons this month. One, <laughs> you know, before you do something as serious, you know, like as applying to be part of the partnership program, which is a big deal to me because, 
you know, me and I'm sure other people, you know, you really want to get that uh, monetization going. You're, you're making this content and you really would like to be able to be compensated for the time and effort and money that you spend to entertain, to educate, to, you know, you, you want to get paid for that. So, and, and I wanted to have it as one of my revenue streams here in Egypt. So I'm not going to lie about that. I, I do. I wanted it. So it was like a, it was a letdown. I felt violated. <laughs> I felt bad because they said no. So I didn't know that they could say no, you know, <laughs> dumb me, but anywho. So that's a lesson learned for me. I'm sharing with you guys that I did two dumb things this month. One, I let my visa expire and got taxed. Two, I did not screw up my channel to make sure that it was perfect before submitting my application for monetization. And I have learned from both of those things. I won't make that mistake again. And I'm hoping that the information that I'm sharing with you is going to prevent you from making that type of mistake as well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so those, those are things I kind of wanted to talk about. So looking forward to um, applying next month. Like I said, my videos are all clean now. Um, I should not have any issues. I only use YouTube music now anyway. So all of that is already approved. And then any music that you use, if it says that you need to, you know, list who the author is or the musician is in your um, description box, you need to do that because they will count that as um, an issue. And you don't want to do anything that's going to prevent you from being able to qualify to be monetized, okay? So that's my words for the day, y'all. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I, did, I, I couldn't get that live going good. I had uh, one lady, came, one um, subscriber, Regina, she came on. And I thought she said that she couldn't hear me. But it, it, when I read the comments later, it actually said she could hear me. And that's my thoughts. I couldn't see up there. It was really bright. But what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll practice and around because it really would be nice to do the lives outside because first of all it's warmer outside than it is here in my house and it's just so beautiful and peaceful and I really love how that sun feels on my skin so um, you know it's just like a good vibe good energy and and I would love for my lives to be um, you know more upbeat and and have great energy so I definitely want to do them outside um, so I'm sorry anyone who tried to view it and, and couldn't I apologize I did take it down um, and I'm going to replace it with this particular video. So yeah, you guys, my visa, I'm legal, right? I'm also qualified for monetization. So those are two good things that happened this month. Um, as well as I had a tour. I had uh, two ladies that come, that came and visited here from DC. They had like a whole 10 day tour, you guys. They went to Cairo. We went to Aswan, did Luxor and her goddess. They did the whole shebang. Um, for a birthday tour and had an awesome time and I'll be sharing the rest of those videos with you guys um, later this week um, too. So yeah, we had a lot of fun. Um, the other good thing I did this month is I got all my group tours for 2022 uh, loaded up to the website. So if you guys go to easyegypttours.com, you're going to see that I have some group tours that are available. They are you know, really budget friendly, we do accept payment plans. So yeah, come see Egypt, you guys, come see Egypt with me. And um, you can do that by just going to the website and signing up. Uh, first tour is gonna be in April, it's our spring break tour. It's a really quick one, it's a spring break beach tour. So we'll be hanging out in Cairo a little bit and hanging out at the beach in Hergada. So yeah, if you wanna come hang out at the Red Sea with us, uh, yeah, go ahead and sign up for that tour and it's inclusive starting at like $1,600. So that's that's pretty good. You just have to get your um, international flight, but everything else once you get here is all taken care of, including your domestic flights. And, and I do the price points like I do because I just, my goal is to get people to come here. I just want you to come see um, this beautiful place. I want you to come see Egypt. So that's it. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to... Um, you know, enjoy the rest of mine and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.